So, low back, we're starting from finding the sacrum, scanning cephalot, finding this uh, spinous processes. Sacrum, L5, L4, spinous process. Next step, the transducer will move slightly uh, lateral to the paramedian view, and we'll see facet complex where um, superior, anterior, anterior, superior and, and, and inferior articular processes are overlaid. In this view, if we tilt the probe medially to the oblique view, we'll open up interstitial space in the interlaminal space between those lamina and lamina and uh, 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 dorsal dura, ventral dura, ligamentum flavum. Next, going more laterally, it will be, it will be transverse processes. Same sacrum, and then it will be L5, L4, L3, transverse processes with a psoas muscle in between. You can see the pulsation of the radicular arteries in the psoas muscle. Short axis view of the spine will give us, starting from the sacrum, sacrum, uh, median crest, scanning cephalot, Now we are coming to the um, L5-S1 space. Let me make a little bit a better image. So what we see now is a facet joint, spinous process, facet joint, and the, media, and the, and the transverse process. So in this position, we can do medial branch block, medial branch block in here, or facet joint block is here. This is a capsule of the facet joint, so the needle needs to be placed under the capsule.